my God. Help us to trust with you with our decision and future. Let us learn on you with all our hearts instead of relying on our own imperfect understanding. Give us the clear guidance in our life as we ask for you to direct our paths. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning, happy new day, happy Friday, August 11, 2023. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song we never say so about in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is why God may be silent. Why God may be silent. I mean, we first may find the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I read, For I know the thoughts I think toward you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil to give you an unexpected end. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil to give you an unexpected end. Several years ago, when I was a very young preacher, there was a good campground in Nigeria called Youth Camp. We would often go there for retreats. One day, while we are there for retreat, the owner stood and told me they wanted to sell the place for 100000 We had nothing close to that kind of money then, but I had faith that God would buy the place for us. I gathered my people together and we prayed around the camp, confessing that it was already ours in line with the word of God. In Joshua 1, verse 3, every place that the soul of your foot shall tread upon, that half I've given unto you. Later on, when the owner saw we were not forthcoming with the money, they sold it to a bigger ministry. With the money, they saw it to a bigger ministry. We were devastated. We turned to God, but Lord, we pray, we use your word, all true, you remain silent. He remains silent because he has something bigger in store for us. He knew that 40 acres of land would be too small for where he was taking us. By God's grace, the auditorium we now call Old Auditorium sits is over 40 acres of land. Our new auditorium is now 3 km by 3 km. If I pray, praise God. And are you sure of your faith? But God remains silent. It is likely because He has something bigger in store for you than what you are asking for. It is God who takes pleasure in exceeding His children expectation? The Bible says in Ephesians 3 verse 20, Now unto Him that is able to do as indeed abundantly above all that we ask of things. According to the power that works in us. In our Bible reading today, the man at the pool of Bethesda was explaining his predicament to Jesus, hoping that he would help him get into the water. Jesus, however, ignored him and gave him something greater. This is the case many times when you are praying and it looks like God is ignoring you, he may just be preparing something greater to you. Don't give up all, trust him, and he will never fail you. Isaiah 55 verse 8 to 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways, and my ways. Say the Lord, for as the heaven are higher than the hell, so are my ways higher than yours way, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Ready? I want us to read the book of John 5 verse 1 to 9. And our Bible in one year, 
Jeremiah 25 verse 27 Our hymn in 5 Blessed assurance Blessed assurance Our key point for today When you have done everything right on your end and God is silent is most likely preparing something bigger for you when you have done everything right on your end and God is silent, He's most likely preparing something bigger for you. And I pray everyone will not disappoint you. They will always be faithful to you. In Jesus' name. Brother, this is your word. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodness of God will never live your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. Bless you. Happy weekend.